Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Usenet downloader SAB NZBD. So uh, to get it, go to sabnzbd.org, and also please check our articles in the description for it. It has, an, has a lot of information on how to get it going. So if you click the download button, you're going to see the SAB NZBD source download, which we could go over, but uh, we're going to be dealing with the Debian stuff because I use Debian. So I'm going to click on Linux repositories. Now, if you go through here, there are Docker images you could check out. There is a Unix packaging system. Uh, if you go to Debian, Debian has the standard installation package. And if I go CD to the normal, I can just install that and it will automatically go out and it'll enable and install the program. And once you get that installed, you can just look for a SAB, launch it up and it should open up in an irregular program. And so SAB and ZBD is open and uh, now we can use Usenet stuff. So we're not gonna go over using the newsreader itself because there's some issues there I don't wanna get into. So let's instead just go over some of the other information that you could check out. If you wanna install this from source, First, you need to download the source package. Then you go over here, you extract it to the correct folder, you go here. And uh, basically, you don't need to compile it from source at all. Instead, you just need to uh, open it up in terminal and then just run the uh, correct sab stuff. So in this case, it would be just sab helper. Now, like I said, this will launch SAB in a local host just like it did with this. It does the exact same way. So really installing it through Debian isn't really necessary. It, you know, it has they have a contributor repository. You can also do that for like Ubuntu. They have a PBA. Basically, it's just a Python script and it runs the same software. It's just it's it's more easy. It's easier to do with uh, with uh, the native package repositories just because it does it a little bit automatically it makes it a little neater. You know, you get your icon and, and whatnot. But anyways, guys, that's just how to get SAB and ZBD working. The uh, very popular Usenet newsreader. Please check out our, our link in the description, our article, and it will go over this in a bit more detail with more operating systems. As always, this has been Derek, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.